Hey everyone, it's me Gavin Vengeance and welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to share a couple of highlights from the 2.7 Archon quest that I've been actually doing over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Gavin underscore Vengeance. I know a lot of you guys were kind of eagerly anticipating my reaction to a certain cutscene. That is within this video, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, look towards the end of it. Anyways, I just wanted to share my thoughts on this before we get into the video. I really think that 2.7 absolutely hit the nail on the head, delivered a very solid Archon quest with a lot of great moments, and honestly gave us a little couple of like tidbits of information towards what we can expect to see in the future, which I'm very much looking forward to. So again, if you guys want to check out any more of my live streams, you can find me over at twitch.tv forward slash Gavin underscore Vengeance. Now with that out of the way, let's get into it. I have a feeling that we'll be working together soon enough. Heck yes. Heck yes, I really love her design. <laughs> Ito, if she's the one that takes care of everything in the gang, then doesn't that kind of make her the gang's real boss? You don't say that, Paimon. Are you kidding? Of course I'm the boss. To the four corners of Tavat, there is only one boss of Hanamizaka's legendary Arataki gang, a me. <laughs> now a useless boss with an ultra capable subordinate isn't that how it always goes you know what forget it the average person couldn't possibly understand the dynamics of the arataki gang as the leader i can't let myself stoop down to your level he's so good anyway, he's so good have you seen a pink-haired legal uh mage lady wears a goofy hat knows everything kind of short yeah possibly Maybe that's why she's hiding. We were taking care of some errands in Liyue, and the boss got tangled up with some millilith while we were standing in a line. <laughs> he was about to get arrested when, luckily, Yenbei happened to be walking past and helped us out. How can that yep. possibly happen? If it wasn't for her, our trip to Liyue would have ended with me and the slammer. <laughs> so, you know, I just wanted to do something nice to show my heartfelt gratitude. Maybe he was trying to battle but beetles with people. didn't need my help with anything. Aggressively. I there's a chance she might run into trouble here on her own, so I followed her here. Just in case she needs me to come leaping to her rescue. Great, thanks. I'll go after her. Shinobu, time to roll. All right. Well, that was a nice first encounter. You're not my savior. Ito's coming to your rescue. <laughs> Appreciate the help. Until next time. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be uh, uh, trying to secure what? myself a kooky Shinobu or two. Ito the wrong way on purpose? Huh. Shinobu seemed pretty sharp. Paimon doesn't think you can pull one on her like that. Or maybe she knows that Ito can be a big nuisance, so she's trying to stop him from bothering Yanfei. Oh, if that's the case, then wow, she really knows how to call the shots. Yeah, I really like her. Well, at least this way nobody will be bothering Yanfei. If we run into her again later, we should let her know that we helped her out. Hmm. All right, now let's go take a look at the crash site from last time. Time to get down to business. Let's go see what's different. Perilous Trail started. All right, cool. Again, like I said, very cool first introduction. Really like Kuki Shinobu. Really can't wait to have her in my uh, roster and potentially get some constellations and all that good stuff. I have no idea where the hell I'm going. Uh, <laughs> let's go this way. Hey, Yanfei. We sent away the people that were following you. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. The guy with the weird outfit seemed super outgoing. <laughs> Normally, I don't mind who eats out, but I've got work to do today. Possibly. Oh, so what kind of work are you doing in a place like this? Oh, don't tell Paimon you're thinking about becoming an adventurer too. Well, as a legal advisor, sometimes I also have to travel in person. I came to the chasm to deal with a will. A will. I work as a legal advisor. Of course, cases like this are quite rare. The chasm is not the kind of place you can just waltz into whenever you want. Oh, so you do know what kind of place this is. I know that voice. Who's that? Ah, I thought I might find you here. Finally making your entrance. Hell yes. Such a badass. <laughs> Even used the plunging animation. Whatever case you're working on in the chasm. I'm sure Liyue's top legal consultant can handle it without my input. Oh my god, she's sick. I have something to do here as well. Seems chance has brought us all together. 
You may not know me, traveler in Paimon, but I've certainly heard about you. She's cool. She's so cool. You're all here on business, and it's my job to monitor the chasm. According to regulations, I should accompany you. All right, I'm but, down. As it turns out, I have other things that require my attention. I'm afraid I can't join you this time. You may go about your business. Just try not to make a ruckus. Her voice is perfect. That's most Perfectly cast. I was about to ask for your assistance. Could you spare a little time to help me take care of this will? For old time's sake? Hmm, I don't know. Depends what's in it for me. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. Even she looks so cool, man. I don't know what the whole like, jacket hanging off her so back and stuff. It's just, I don't know. Gave me some nice tea. I'll treat you to a cup if you agree. <laughs> Why don't you tell me a little more about how you got here first? Then I'll... Hey, you! Uh-oh. He's on to us! Uh, Ito? What is he doing back here? I know what you two did. You really tried to throw me off, didn't you? <laughs> well, and I thought we were buds. <laughs> That's close enough. Ooh. Huh? Who are you? Sorry, this area is part of the chasm. It's closed to the general public. Are you kidding me? I I, I don't see any warning signs or fences. Are they gonna what throw down? To keep me out, kid. Where there's real danger, you'll never see a warning sign. Oh my God, she's got an attitude. I never knew this place was so important. It's true. This is not a place you can just go in and out of as you wish. That's also why I didn't want anyone to follow me. Unfortunately, you didn't listen. The Traveler has done a lot for Liyue in the past. And Yenfei is a renowned legal consultant in Liyue, so I can trust their intentions. As for you two... She probably doesn't really know much about them, right? Hey, because, again, the Sokoku Decree. You're trying to say that I'm not famous enough and my intentions are no good? I don't know your background, so I can't give you free passage here. Besides, Yenfei doesn't seem to need your help, does she? She is stern, man. Ha! How would you know what Yenfei needs? What are you two joined at the hip or something? Right. Anyway, I don't need to be a mind reader to see that. In any case, as a visitor from Inazuma, I'd suggest you defer to a local when in doubt. Stick to the local rules and keep yourself out of trouble. Man, oh! she is laying down the law. Please, try not to be so impulsive. She is right, you know. Uh-oh. Things are starting to get a little she does bit not better. mess around. I'm loving it. Oh, not good. You really shouldn't start butting heads with Yelon. It's true that we don't know anything about the unique conditions of this place. So we'll heed your advice and leave immediately. But if this really is a dangerous area, seriously, you should put up a sign. Thanks Valid point. Oh, consider it. <laughs> oh, man, oh, yeah. she... She is, like, savage. Then, I'm afraid things might get... unpleasant. <laughs> is that so? You really think you can take the two of us? Wow. Gotta admit, I like your optimism. I love her personality. With the Traveler and Yenfei, I'd still suggest you heed my warning. <laughs> Holy that, crap, but, uh, I'm getting chills. I'm not buying it. If you're so strong, then why don't you show me what you got? Oh, baby! Hold on, boss. There's no need to start a fight here. Oh, no. I'm going in whether she likes it or not. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you think I was joking around, huh? Oh, no. These two are about to go at it. They're going to tear this chasm apart. Please, wait a minute, you two. This whole thing started because of me. Why don't you just save me the embarrassment and just told you? Huh? Uh oh, it's a. Ah! Hey, stop trying to change the subject. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, uh huh? Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh shit! Ah! The ground collapsed during our little confrontation up there. Perhaps because we triggered the elemental forces. Well, don't look at me. The elemental if forces. You were so rude, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mad. Who can put up with that kind of dude? <laughs> it's my duty to stop intruders from breaking into important places. If telling the truth sounds rude, then I'm afraid you're just a little too fragile. Man, she's hey, got her claws in. I love it. 
Boss, I'm afraid you're not going to win this argument. I suggest we stop provoking her. Hey, whose side are you on here? All of these characters have just been like I'm nailing every line. Fast. I'm so I damn impressed with the voice it, acting. But you're making my life difficult by starting random fights with everyone. Who would have guessed we'd find a domain entrance in a place like this? A domain? If there's a way in, then there's a way out. Let's go and take a look. The rocks here seem to be old Liyue mountain rocks. They're similar to what I've seen in books. This domain must have existed for quite some time now. <laughs> What's that sound? <sighs> it is Xiao. Oh, it's Xiao. Conqueror of demons. We got a close up of his butt cheek. What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, uh, I came down from above. Uh, I heard a noise, so I followed it here. So you're not here by accident. Hmm. Wanna team up? No, I have something else to do. <laughs> So I'm blunt. Looking for someone. <laughs> this is Ushi, an auxiliary so damn of cute. the Arataki gang. <laughs> oh, Ushi says hello, everyone. You can just call him Ushi or Beefcake. Yeah, he's got a keen sense Beefcake's of Beefcake's pretty cool. So I like I'll it. Him lead the way. <laughs> I didn't know gangs could have auxiliary members. This does not have the trappings of something that's going to work. It'll work. You're telling me. All right, go, Ushi. Go find us a way out of here. <laughs> huh? What's that? Oh, really? Oh, no way. <laughs> Ushi's just like, yeah, man, we're stuck. Ushi says he searched everywhere, but there's no exit. That doesn't add up. If we were able to come in, then there must be a way to get out. Here, let me take another look. Has anyone else noticed this? We initially thought we fell here from above. At that time, there was a way out high overhead. But now, it seems even that exit has disappeared. Well, at least somebody's perceptive. If you ask me. I see everyone is still here. Yelon. We split into groups and searched the area, but there are no signs We've literally of done nothing. We've, we've relied on Ushi to do for us. Did you manage to find anything? No. And, though I'd prefer not to say it, we'd better mentally prepare ourselves. If we can't find a way out, we may be stuck underground for some time. Great. I think you might be right. I understand. Hmm. An underground space with an entrance, but no exit. It just doesn't make any sense. I'll figure something out. Just give me some time. If anyone no problem. happens to find a potential exit, please be sure to take every precaution before exploring further. That's not a bad idea. Finally, someone with a solution. Hey, traveler, what's with the serious face? Do you have a plan? Yeah. All right. Do you want to get in to help us? Sure. Let's give it a shot. Huh. Huh. No response. Paimon thought Xiao would come no matter where we are. It usually takes them a couple Did seconds, all right. He'll appear. Right? Did he not appear? What the heck is going on? So, wait. What's Paimon looking at? He's in the abyss? Uh 
This looks really damn cool, I'm not gonna lie. But again, we got the, the teaser for this, or a snippet of this, with the 2.7 trailer. I wonder how it's gonna unfold. Oh! <clears throat> what the heck? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Did you find anything, Traveler? So, did you find the person we want to rescue inside? Judging by the look on your face, I'm guessing you saw something a little... unpleasant in there? So does that mean that the Traveler's nightmare is being alone in the abyss? Yeah, falling through the map, that's what that's Stupid definitely definitely what pieces. it is. Interesting scene nonetheless. Again, adds a little more questions in my opinion, but uh awfully convenient that Paimon and Yelan got off the hook. At least Yelan kinda had like an excuse like a, a, a somewhat valid excuse but what the hell why didn't Paimon have to do it right True. it means we've entered into a place where normal logic doesn't apply when you put it all together everything points towards one possibility this is a place where time and space are thrown into chaos so we're taking a page out of the seven deadly sins gotcha all right um I'm down with it, I guess. <laughs> I thought just in that battle so here's the What is he doing here? The one breaker I Breaker? This is the traveler? The Zhao, do you read me? Russia. Say again? Say again? The voice is much clearer now. We're close. It's got no uh no service. Conqueror of Demons, can you hear me? It's Yenfei. The Traveler and I are trying to find you. Uh, traveler? Yenfei? Looks like the eye is Sauron. What? Are you okay? I'm fine. Listen to me. It's chaotic here. We may not be in the same space, but sometimes the sound can get through, which means these separate spaces intersect from time to time. Everything is chaotic here. What are you, Paimon? No. Okay. The darkness that sullies my soul is harmful to mortals. I was looking for the truth behind the monster invasion from Conria. Okay. Okay. Yes? Please keep everything I'm about to say to yourselves. Okay, we are no, getting into some good no. stuff. Otherwise. Yeah, I know, you're gonna kill us. Gotcha. We got it. Five hundred years ago. A wave of dark beasts from Conria attacked the Seven Nations of Tevat. Naturally, Liyue was also affected. Under Rex Lapis's command, the Millilith fought hard to hold the front line near the chasm. But these were vicious beasts, and this was the most desperate battle Liyue had ever faced. At a critical moment, someone distracted the monsters and led them away. Just when all hope seemed lost, the tide turned. The Liyue army eventually won the war. 
But there were many who never returned. Two of my ancestors took part in that war, and the one who made it back went insane. Everything about it was strange. The current generation of Qixing knows very little about these events, and very few came back from the chasm alive. Finding out the truth has been a waiting game. The day the chasm was unsealed, I put in a request to be transferred here, so I could finally learn the truth of what happened back then. But this place we've ended up in, and the possibilities we're facing, it's all far more terrifying than I'd imagined. <sighs> So maybe it's trying to prevent her from finding out the truth. We can't give up. Maybe that's why I'm trapped right in this now, space right now, right? One priority has to be getting out of here alive. I'm sure we'll find out in a few years. Such a tease. It was horrific. Nobody knows what happened. That's it. <laughs> By the way, about Conria, did you not know that uh, a cataclysmic event happened 500 years ago? And it was horrific for all of Tevat? And it involved the Seven Nations and an army from the, uh, the Abyss... And it was, it was awful. Find out more in 10 years. <clears throat> Did you know that 500 years ago, the beasts of Conria invaded the chasm? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was literally just gonna say, I might have heard a thing or two about that, so that's very ironic. Good job, Hoyoverse. That war lasted a long <clears throat> time. If I use all the energy I have, I may be able to tear a passage out of this chaotic space. Really? So powerful attacks can affect the space itself. I had wondered if that was a possibility. Whoa, 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 whoa. But what do you mean by all the energy you have? I mean, it will take everything I've got. Yeah, we're not going to let that happen. Wait a minute. When you said you were going to get us out safely, you mean you're going to stay here? You can't be serious. <sighs> I saw Bosatius underground. Said it That's wasn't gonna happen. I realized the horror of this place. A single blast can only create a very small opening. To send you back to the outside world, I may need to continuously channel power in order to keep the tunnel open. I know how to fight to the bitter end. I can do this. Um, yeah, right? No, no way. Even if what you're saying is true, I can't agree to this. We're not going to, Yenfei. It's not much of an escape plan if we gotta leave someone behind. It's only a good or bad plan if there are other options to compare it to. But that's not the situation we're in right now. I doubt you'd still be stuck here if anyone had a better idea. B but can you be certain that your plan will work? I cannot. What is wrong? Well, we're really not going to let it happen. You can't bet your life on something if you don't even know it's going to work. It's not worth it. To conclude, I'm not agreeing to this plan. What if I told you this is my last will? Then we're not going to carry it out. You? <clears throat> I'm just going to put it that way. How about that? Shall? What's your strategy, huh? What you're doing is hurting morale. Besides... <laughs> You tell me, Elon. Really so determined to end it Put him in his place. You wouldn't have given us the opportunity to share our opinions. You think you're oh so cold and ruthless, but I'm not buying it. And anyway, Ooh, she's good. losing one of us so the rest can escape? <laughs> Some victory that is. Elon, don't be so harsh. She's so good. <sighs> Point is, it's not time for drastic measures yet. It's possible there's a hidden passage leading to the exit that we just haven't discovered. No one's staying behind to let anyone else out, all right? Enough talk. It's time for action. Leave it to the man of brawn. Come on, whatever you are. Let's see how long you manage to keep us trapped in here after I'm finished with you. Uh, 
Easy now. He's gonna hurt himself, right? Have a taste of this. Yeah. <laughs> or not. <sighs> uh, whew, okay, so I didn't tear the whole place. Wasn't down. expecting that. <coughs> but check it out. New path. <laughs> if you need a hero, I'm the man for the job. <laughs> and he's poop. Should have seen this coming. Heal him. You can heal him, Kooky Shinobu. Hold on. Is that the fantastic compass? What? That's the best description you can come up with? It's way, way bigger than that! Huh. Weren't well, very many like options there, Paimon, is all In I'm saying. In my humble legal opinion, that's almost certainly the magical device I've been looking for. It really showed up. But if this really is the fantastic compass... It's so huge! How the heck am I gonna lug that back to my office? Maybe we can shrink it. I mean, come on, Yenfei. Don't give up now. Let's investigate the area first. What the? Are they? Are they treasure hoarders? They look familiar. Oh, yeah. I bumped into these rapscallions a few days ago. Great, great word. Rapscallion. Get out of here, you rap scallions! Everywhere within this space follows the same rules. There must be another small fantastic compass somewhere around here. Osatius, I can't believe someone like you would end up as a lost soul underground. No enemies. Hold on. Wait, is the enemy hiding itself? Oh no. We should go help him. Stay back. This is my fight. Do not come near me. Oh, Filthy shit! Monsters! So many people have died at your hands! I lured you here to this underground space because I found your weakness. Hiding and ambushing from the dark is Bosatius' signature tactic. Die here with me! Huh? How did a valiant warrior like you die here? He has incredibly predictable, uh... Telegraphs. <laughs> uh oh. This is not going well for Shell. No matter. I know how this ends. Okay. Look! Osatius is showing signs of fatigue. I can't even see where he is, so I have no idea what he means. Even your strength is finite. Your illusion is not as mighty as you. This is not you in all your glory. I wonder what Rex Lapis would think if he saw what had become of the first Yaksha. Leave! I'll deal with the rest. We can't let the monsters get to the surface. Everyone, remember. We must hold the line at 60 miles outside the chasm at all costs. So we're getting some voice lines from the battle. Okay. There's nothing here at all. What a creepy space. It has the feel of the abyss. Yep. But where are the opponents? Hmm. Your memory of what? The abyss? So this place is created purely based on your memory? Oh, it's walking on its own. I'm not doing anything. What is going on? It's getting darker. Lumine? Lumine, wait! Okay, now I have control. My friends are nowhere to be found. 
Gotcha. Huh? What's that shiny round thing on the ground? The Fantastic Compass. In the other spaces, the Fantastic Compass was always partially buried in the ground. But this one is lying flat, intact, as if somebody left it here. Oh, she was just a figment of your imagination? So, she appeared as an illusion because you miss her so much, huh? <sighs> Yenfei. Are you sure this is the fantastic compass you're looking for? I think so. There were no pictures in the will, but based on the description, it seems to check out. Yelon? What is it? From the design and build, this fantastic compass looks extremely similar to the catalysts used by my clan. I just need to do this, and... <laughs> Someone's used this before. There may be a hidden message inside. Okay. Let's get out of here and find somewhere safer. All right, I'm intrigued. All right, here we'll be fine. Take a moment to catch your breath while I try to unlock the Fantastic Compass. Now that I've found the Fantastic Compass, my work here is done. But if the Bosatius we saw was just an illusion, will we really be able to take anything we find here back to the outside world? <sighs> True. Not, uh, not a bad way of thinking. It only seems Bosatius logical. Was the leader of the five Yakshas under Rex Lapis's command. He could control electro energy. Unlike me, he was both a formidable warrior and a talented commander. <sighs> Within Yin and Yang. Among the five regions, water, fire, wind, and thunder cycle like the seasons. Grasp the seven heavens from the ground. Open wide the three gates. All the worlds within reach. That's probably very important. Wait a minute. In yin and Yang, among the five regions, water... Fire, wind, and thunder cycle like the seasons. Grasp the seven heavens from the ground. Open wide the three gates. All the worlds within reach. That is very important. Among the five regions. Water. Fire. Wind. And thunder. Cycle like the seasons. Notice how uh, Earth... Is not in there, right? But it then says, grasp the seven heavens from the ground. So that's got to be referring to the seven elements, right? Right? It's got to be. The seven elements would be, what? Animo. Uh, Geo. Electro. Dendro. Hydro. Uh, pyro. And there's one I'm definitely missing right now, like a dummy. Uh, there's one more, right? I'm not... Am I stupid? Is there only six? No, there's there's more than six. There's got to be another one. Cryo. Right. So, grasp the seven heavens from the ground. Open wide the three gates. So, I wonder, is, is Yelon referencing... Gathering the powers of the seven gods, or the seven archons, open wide the three gates. Open wide the three gates. Maybe that's a reference to Celestia, all the world within reach. Yeah, there's uh there 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 is something very important in that line. I have questions. <laughs> I have questions. And that's not all. The book also says this. When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. 
This contraption is proof that mortals and Adepti may coexist. That there is unity between heaven and humanity. I have both Adepti and human lineage. Maybe my power can work. It worked! I mean, the effect only lasted an instant because I'm not strong enough. But still, we must be on the right track. And look! Something seems to have been activated inside the Fantastic Compass. By heaven's might and the gods of the five regions, Yaksha and mortal together take this contraption in hand. Okay. That's their voices from when they made the seal. Bosatius and my ancestor. They sealed off this space at the top together. Hmm. I see. It makes sense now. Everyone, let's go back and meet up with Ito and Shinobu. I have a suggestion to make. Okay. Paimon can barely move anymore. Oh, why can't we get out of here? Paimon doesn't want to die. Paimon wants to stay with you. Well, I mean, I'm trapped down here too, Paimon. Paimon I don't know if you've noticed there, okay? or not. Trust me, there's still hope. Let's go. So how the heck am I going to get out of this? Stars align, bestow your light. Evil purged by thunder's might. Spirit curbed, Numa surge. By dictum divine, heed these words. Do as I command. Nice incantation. Aha! Uh -huh. The fantastic compass is an amplifier. Maintain this energy level and we may stand a chance. I will maintain the energy flow. Understood. Everyone, stand back. <clears throat> Music's giving me chills. I shall hold the line by sealing the surface. As Yaksha's, we must fight for this world. General Alatus, falling in! Dude, this is sick. <laughs> Are these the souls of the Millilith soldiers, possibly? Oh, it's definitely not the Millilith. Oh my god, dude. Yaelon is so awesome. This trip may be dangerous, yet you insist on going. I have guarded this place for several hundred years. Only to seek the nameless Yaksha. Zhang Li. Your approval. Mm. <sighs> Given his permission to let him uh, go on his journey. sick I just have complete tingles all over this is absolutely beautiful There's the exit. Uh-oh. You can't keep this up. Your strength won't last. Dude, is Ito gonna save the day? He 
He's gonna, what? Holy shit, Zhao, what are you doing? No, dude. No, dude. <laughs> of course! Of course! Zhongli. At the last minute. Of course. Thank God for Zhongli. That was awesome. What an amazing scene. Holy crap. That was absolutely perfect. What a quest. What a quest. Where could that strange space have come from? And how has it existed down there, undetected for so many years? I have to investigate this further. I have a feeling that whatever lies behind all this runs deep. Maybe so deep that no one can be allowed to know. So maybe we'll find out possibly in 2.8? I think someone helped us out at the last minute. They did a good deed, of course, but... Somehow I couldn't tell anything about them. It must have been someone of great importance. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Anyway, these questions will have to wait for another time. I have some follow-up work to do and reports to make. So it's back to Liyue Harbor for me. See you when I see you. There's a reason I was extremely hyped for Zhongli. Okay, there's a reason. Bye, Yelan. You knew I was waiting for you? Really? Hmm. There's somewhere I want to go. If you have the time, you can join me. Won't you in? Where is it? A place that has to do with the Yakshas. Oh! The temple up ahead was built to remember Pervases. Yeah, we learned about that with, uh, Shenha's quest, I believe? Maybe I came here because I had a realization. You mean, back when we were underground? It's hard to put into words. Seeing Bosatius gave me the false impression that I'd traveled back into the past. You could dress up the Yaksha's life and call us valiant warriors, veterans of war. But the truth is, we are slaughterers and nothing more. For I don't think that's true. Perhaps dying in the heat of a great battle was no tragedy. And perhaps the same is true for me. After living so long... To die in the act of saving others would not have been a terrible thing. Hmm. So maybe... These thoughts are my own form of insanity. Hey, don't say that. Oh yeah, Ushi wanted us to tell you... Okay, so now we're gonna we learn the message. Hmm? Ushi said he has the power to exercise demons, so people use him to fend them off. After he met Ito, he's never left his side. He also said that he doesn't have any grand philosophies. He just thinks we should spend our lives around the people who make us happiest. Maybe there aren't so many rules about how we should or shouldn't live our lives in this world after all. So, he hopes you can come to understand that even though the power of a yaksha may be harmful to other people, it doesn't mean you shouldn't hang out with them. Dude, that's so wholesome. Yep, like people with visions. They have more resistance against your power, right? And, and, well, anyway, there's loads of people out there who really care about you. He's just so concerned about the karma, right? <laughs> Suddenly you sound a lot like Bosatius and the others. <laughs> They used to talk about how they hoped to live a mortal's life once the world was at peace. I think... I was the only one who didn't think that way. The Bosatius recorded in the Fantastic Compass had lost his sanity. He addressed the people around him as Alatus, Minogius, and others. These are the names of the five Yakshas. I am Alatus, and Minogius is General Capesis. Okay. So we, uh, we know the terminology now, at least. The others are Bonanus, or General Chizapis, and Indarius, or General Musatis. I heard that people call the five of us Yakshas, the Guardian Adepti. 
<laughs> Osatius and Yelon's ancestors stayed underground to the end. So that space must have read their minds in their last moments as they approached death. Yelon was right in everything she said. Both of our proposals had their drawbacks, and both were sensible suggestions. But the power of that space was far beyond all of us. I couldn't have done all I did without everyone's help. Even in the final moments, it took every bit of my power to break free from that place. Well, Paimon still thinks you were amazing. Yen it was a really good scene. Correct. I always prepare for the worst case scenario. This mindset is deeply rooted in me. Even so, it was the most optimistic solution I could think of. If Rex Lapis hadn't saved me in that moment, I don't think I would have been able to escape. In the end, I still had to burden another. But that's how it should But at least be. he was looking out for him, right? I've known Zhang Li, uh, Rex Lapis for such a long time. And you've helped him before, so he helped you back. What's the big deal? Perhaps. In the moment that we escaped from that space, I could sense what was left of Bosatius's memory. If I had to say what I gained from this trip, I think that would be it. It's good that one more person will remember him. Minogius, mm, where have you been? <sighs> Brother Yaksha, you're confused again. I've told you countless times, I am Boyang, a thaumaturge who fought with you in the chasm. Boyang? You are Boyong, but who am I? <laughs> Believe me, I want to know as much as you do. Here we are, the two who agreed to stay here together, and I can't even call you by your name. It's a shame. It's a tragic fate, man. Stay here? No. No, you have to leave. Uh, nonsense, Brother Yaksha. We're down here for good now. Don't you remember? It's too late to have regrets. The seal can't be broken. The seal. Ah, oh, yes. I'm a Yaksha who came here to fight. Brother, brother, are you okay? <laughs> Look at the state of me. I don't think I've got long now. <laughs> We're the only two left. Don't go dying on me. Oh, man. You know, today I saw my family down here. Clear as day. What do you think? Am I losing my mind now, too? Hmm. Boyong, do you want to go home? I made my decision to leave Zhong Zhao up on the surface. I obviously... Of course, I want to go home. I must have family, too. You mean brothers and sisters? I'm sure you do. Brothers and sisters. Yes, but who am I? And where is my family? I'm... Brother! What's wrong? Hang in there. It's just you and me, don't... Don't die before me. Alatus. Is that you? Who's Alatus? Your memory's calling again. <coughs> I'm sorry. You all have to see me in this state. Brother! Brother! He was looking for Zhao. Look, there's someone over there. Who are they? There. There, my. My. I remember now. I know you. <laughs> my brothers and sisters have come for me, boy. At least, 
At least tell me your name. Brother. Brother Bosatius. <laughs> hey, Bosatius. Bosatius. I... I am Bosatius. And my destiny is to make the ultimate sacrifice. Shit, man. I said so much today. But I don't need to hold back as much when I talk to you. Scene got me. Oh shit, that was heavy. Damn good scene. Really damn good scene. Have you ever had a moment where you felt like you were aware of your destiny? The potential of life? The approach of death? Whatever it might have been. By now, I have accepted that destiny is the one disaster that the Yaksha know most keenly of all. We are destined to misery. And yet, we have no fear. Xiao... It matters not. Rex Lapis had said that you are a witness. It is right that the events of the world are relayed to you. Bonanus, Minogius, and Indarius all perished. And only Bosatius' fate was unknown. This has always stung my heart like a thorn. That is why I went to the chasm. Just now he's finally got his closure. The, now that the answer he had been seeking. The chasm back then, I can finally put this matter to rest. Before we left that place, I picked up a stone. I thought if I could take it out with me, I would place it in the temple to Pervases in memory of Bosatius. Unfortunately, the stone did not survive. Pervases died in the Archon War thousands of years ago. He was younger than us. And Bosatius was very sad when he passed. Too many Yakshas have become casualties of battle. We are like a flock of birds. Scattered to the four corners of the world. And in the end, as Bonanus said, it's rare for a Yaksha to find repose for their soul. Bosatius, Boyang, and all those soldiers, heroes. I like that Daddy. word. Maybe the world will never be free of disaster. Are you ready to go upstairs now? But there is good in the world, too. <laughs> Just about my girl. Even the darkest hearts have room for those they cherish. I accept your advice. From this day on, so what are you doing heroes on will always look out for each other. What a great line to end that on. Wait. Holy crap, man. That was a fantastic quest. And that's going to do it for the video. So if you guys watch all the ways to this point, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Let me know your own thoughts about the entire story quest down in the comments below. And if you guys like this kind of content, I'll keep uploading stuff like this in the future. And that's going to do it for me. So again, I'll see you all for the next one. Take care. Peace.